Well, Grand Theft Auto V is coming out, and they have a teaser trailer and everything to prove it, so yeah, cool and stuff. To many people, the Grand Theft Auto series is a definitive sandbox action vehicle manslaughter series. I'm one of those people, and even though the next Grand Theft Auto game says it's number 5, there's been over 10 Grand Theft Auto games made, so I'm going to break it down and tell you what, you guessed it, Twitch's Top 5 Best Grand Theft Auto Games. Number 5. Grand Theft Auto 1. The one that started it all. Sure, it controlled odd, it looks dated by today's standards, and the top-down view is disorientating, but the freedom that it gave players was just mind-boggling at the time. Plus, it even had multiplayer, which is really cool, and it didn't show up again until, like, Grand Theft Auto 4. And yes, I know San Andreas had it, and it was only some co-op crap, so whatever. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto 4, a fake New York City ripoff never looked so good. GTA 4 brought us back to Liberty City with style, with a great story, a new look of an old favorite city, and so much more to do with a boggle mind. Want to watch TV? Go for it. Want to play pool? Sure thing. Want to actually play the main game? Oh yeah, there's that too. The only thing keeping this game from being higher up on the list is the damn phone of yours. No, I don't want to go drink with my cousin. Please stop having him call me every time I'm trying to run over gangbangers. Number three. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the biggest map, the most to do, and even some sim-like with RPG light elements thrown in for the hell of it. San Andreas was huge, and it tried maybe too much to outdo everything that came before. You can now swim, you can climb over walls, you can play a ton of mini games within the game, and that's probably why I say they tried to do too much, because I don't like having to remember to eat right and exercise with all I'm trying to do is run away from the men in blue and rob liquor stores. I'm not playing games to simulate real life, I'm playing games to get away from real life. Number two. Grand Theft Auto 3. While GTA 1 and 2 got the ball rolling, Grand Theft Auto 3 blew it through the stratosphere. No more odd top-down view. This was a full 3D game, baby. It had the cars, it had the tunes, it had the guns, it had the style, the story. It almost seemed overwhelming to anyone who played the game the first time. You mean I can steal a car and run over a guy and take his money to buy more guns? Why, yes, you can! It was just huge! The gaming world would never be the same again. That is, at least until the next game came out. Number 1 Grand Theft Auto Vice City Everything Grand Theft Auto 3 did right, only made better. None of that Sims BS from San Andreas, and no one calling your cell phone asking to go play pool like in 4. Yeah, it didn't have a bunch of games within the game, like in the next two games, but it did allow you to go into more buildings, fly in helicopters, shoot more kinds of guns, buy more real estate, and listen to the rocking tunes of the 80s. It was Grand Theft Auto at its best, and it wasn't trying to be anything more than that. It just felt like many of the later games forgot that at its core, GTA was about letting the player dictate the pace of the game. Vice City lets you do just that. That was fun. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go play some GTA so I can find a hooker and try and convince her of the perilous lifestyle her job choice is bringing her. Meanwhile, if you so choose, leave your own top five best Grand Theft Auto game list in the comment section down below. And if all goes well and it don't get gunned down by a drive-by, it might make it into my next top five video. Thanks for watching to all, and now I leave you with your top five list from the last video. Till next time, game fans, this is Twitch. Keep playing. Any questions? No, that's a problem. If anybody gets in the way, you know what to do.